So this came the other day and we've got the Instapot Pro Crisp Air Fryer. Now, it's a bit bigger than we expected, so I don't know if we have a counter for this even, but we're gonna open it up and see what's going on inside. Let's unbox this thing. You know, it's the holiday season right now for us, and we know probably a lot of you are looking to buy some presents for Christmas. So this might be just the ticket. Maybe somebody in your family's wanted an Instapot for some time. It is the One Pot Wonder, apparently. In fact, it's a One Pot Wonder and a Team Lift is what it's gonna require, I think. Let's, um, let's just open the box here and try it this way instead of lifting it. Yeah, I really wasn't expecting something this large, but it's... We were hoping it would be a good air fryer. Okay, so we successfully got it out of the box, and here's what your box looks like. Instapot, Pro Crisp air fryer, detachable air fryer lid, easy grip inner pot. Let's see what's in the box. It does serve eight. This is the eight quart capacity. We got the big one, so we could add more stuff to it. Let's see, here's your user guide, and we've got all these accessories, the broiled dehydrating tray, multi-level fryer basket, inner pot, air fryer lid, protective pad and storage cover, multi-purpose rack, and all that good stuff. Let's see what's... Instapot. This would be uh, protective pad and cover storage. Storage cover, so okay, there we go. There's that. This is gonna be the dehydrating tray, I guess, the broil or dehydrating tray. Air fryer basket base. And the uh, multi-purpose rack. We won't make too much noise with that one. This must be the lid. It's pretty big. Yep, it is big. And it is the lid. Get this out. There is a handle. Okay, that's good. Here it is from the underside. Looks like that's the broil unit. Broiler unit. No idea how we're going to clean that right now. But there it is. Put that here, I guess. And here's the monster itself. Oh my goodness, it's heavy. Wow. It's really heavy. Okay, it was so heavy I took a little rest in between. Apparently it doesn't come with the chicken. We're gonna have to do that on our own, but let's see what's in this lid. And so it twists like this. It's a little finicky. Uh, before we twist it, this thing is on top and it's plastic. Looks like it could break pretty easily. It does recycle. Uh, you can hear the plastic. This part is metal, just like a traditional crock pot would be. But um, let's see what's inside. This is also heavy. Um, it looks like it's got a, an air gasket, an event. That's cool. This rubber gasket is in here. I guess this is gonna come out because we would need to wash it probably. I may have to watch a video on how to wash it. <laughs> okay, um, put this down. And here's one basket here. This is loud. Let me try to do it without the noise. Okay, this must be a steamer basket. So, that's metal. It seems quite durable. And then, okay, this is, looked like the, it's got cool grip handles. Rubber, rubber, silicon, whatever. 
Instapot. Okay, that looks like it's got a max fill line, half fill. Not sure about all that, but it is this it looks like seven quarts. Warning, never use Instapot without the stainless steel inner pot in place. Okay. And this is okay, this is just the heating element down here and the edges. And of course, be very careful because I know this part's going to get hot on a crock pot, so I'm assuming it would here too. So you're not going to want to touch that. This guy goes back in here, and you're always supposed to cook with that in there. So it comes with two lids. This one is the regular um, cooker. This is what you're going to probably do most food in. And it just sits on like this and closes, like so. Let's open it, bring it over here, and take this off. Oh, we really took it off. <laughs> That's, uh, this is haul the vent mechanism. We have to learn how to use that. I don't know. Even a little gasket on this guy. Apparently it goes in fairly tight there. And there's something here. We have to read all that. We don't know. And then we have the other lid over here. And it says always put it on the protective cover. So when you're using the air fryer and it's hot and you take it off, of course, watch not burn, to not burn yourself. You put it on this one like so. But when you're done with it and you want to store it, apparently, you do it like this. And if you do it correctly, it latches in. So you're supposed to store this guy on this, I'm guessing because uh, they may be assuming it's greasy and all, but it does appear that you are supposed to, when it gets greasy, you can unscrew these three and then clean it nicely inside. And I think it's probably gonna be required, but that's, that's that. And then you can see these six pins here. They're gonna go in here when you put it on the Instapot. So this, these two ends join. And the other thing you might want to know that we figured out is this guy is going to fit in here like that to go in. Yeah, to go in here without the paper. And then this guy will nest in here. Okay, so I think we've covered just about everything uh, without cooking, except maybe this guy over here. Uh, don't really know what we do with this one, but it's the uh, broil dehydrating tray. So apparently in this unit you can also dehydrate. And here's the water reservoir. Here is the model number and the label. So you can see it's the 8-quart Pro Crisp Air Fryer 8, or AF8, I guess that means air fryer. And then we're gonna turn this around. And all this is programmable, so we have not learned how to do that yet. So when we actually put a chicken in it or whatever, we're gonna show you what we learned. And the last thing on the menu is the multi-purpose rack. I'm assuming you'd use it for air frying or steaming. Could, I guess, go in your steamer basket. Or, let's see, no, that's not what it's meant for. <laughs> let's try this guy. Yes, that appears to be what it's meant for. So maybe the grease will drop off of it when you're doing wings or something like that. But there's your multi-purpose rack. So while it is big, I am at least happy to see that it's going to fit on the counter. <laughs> From the size of the box it came in, I was, I was concerned. So if you like this video, please like and subscribe and come on the Instapot journey with us.